you don't have to use a pearl finish. You can use a white. But uh, if you have a pearl finish, it's gonna help you so much because it's gonna look like a marble, whatever you do. I mean, it's, it's just gonna help you to get to that final result. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this nail art class day. Today, I have a nail art class here at my studio, and we're gonna do some galaxy rose quartz. Oh, what else? Like different stone techniques and other cool stuff. I think I have about six students today, and then I also have my assistant Emily coming here to help me out. And I think I'm gonna hand you guys over to her, so she's gonna be in charge of the vlog today, I think. Uh, 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 uh. And I got my Stop the Nail Shaming swag on me right now, just recently got it. And you got the, uh, there you go, Create Magic Every Day, you got the Empowerment Collection logo right here. and this logo right here. So let me do a little strut for you guys. Ta-da! I love it so much, it is so cozy. If you don't know what Stop the Nail Shaming is, uh, you can check out the video up here. And uh, if you like the merch, then you got a link up here as well. All right, I'm about to set the studio up. I've got the tables up right here and I actually got four new lights so that they will be able to see better. Uh, before I just had these four and then I had like one light for each table but now I got two. Hopefully that will work better. Here's uh, the projector so I need to put the screen up right here and I need to fix the snack corner as well so I need to get this set up. So that is what I'm going to do now, so let's get this day started. La -la -la -la. So the classroom is all ready, uh, the snack table is ready, and now I'm gonna do my own breakfast. So some um, tea and the knäckebröd. Yeah. Denmark, yes, um, but I think you're gonna understand uh, fine either way. And need just let me know because either it should be in the drawers or if you want to borrow something from me, so sh you should all be good to go. Uh, then it's maroon, then it's like a little rosa. Language of love, language, yeah. Please, you know, keep a reference picture right next to you because it could be really cool to just go over it like horizontal, but it's so much easier with a picture right next to you. So I'm just gonna take the blue and paint the basic shape.
50% on top. Just be a little bit more careful. And here's the trick. You want to go in the opposite direction. This layer is where you need to be a little bit more careful because this is the layer where you could end up with um, a little bit too much bulk. And obviously you don't want to cover up every, everything anyway. So yeah, just be careful with that. I'm just adding a little bit. And now we're gonna move on to the technique number two. And that was the gel paint and the cleanser. Oops. And now we're gonna use the messed up block brush. Yeah. And then we are going to cure it. And the next one is gonna be the white swimsuit. You don't have to use a pearl finish. You can use a white. But uh, if you have a pearl finish, it's gonna help you so much because it's gonna look like a marble whatever you do I mean it's, it's just gonna help you to get to that final result and then I'm just gonna add it maybe to into that eye maybe and maybe a little bit down here like that I would say be careful not to overdo it um, but we like sparkle so yeah. uh, make sure to cure it afterwards because then the tacky layer is gonna grab onto the pigment and then you won't get as much pigment into your bristles and ruin your brushes and super shiny or your top glosses. just a really quick fade and take purple like that and finish off with some pink and what I do like about little BC is that it has like matte um, it's like a matte glitter. Wow, but they just can't get their hands on like the dry glitter. Oh my god. <laughs> or people when I do classes and then I have um, a student she's like oh I'm gonna be so smart I'm gonna grab two pinks and then she grabbed 
these two. So we're gonna do one color on each side. And that doesn't have to be pretty or anything. So we're gonna start on this side. Det, det kan man göra, och det är samma teknik, men man måste vara lite mer noggrann bara. Det, går, det tar lite längre tid bara, men man kan. And then I push it down, I lift it up, swirl it, and lift the brush as I go. Then I take a little bit more of that black, and then swirl it down. Okay, so you can't really see the black here, but it's there at the tip. Colors. And now we're just randomly gonna place that onto the nail. And I'm gonna use my block brush. Uh, you can just randomly place it like um, sections. But I haven't done it in this shape before, so I thought I was gonna do that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I think it's good if it's not perfect. I'm gonna show you how to do the um, shadows, but dry. So we're not going to put it into a wet layer. Ja oh, men jävlar alltså. Och hur lätt var inte det här? Vi ser lätt ut, vi får se när vi gör det. Sådär då. Så ja, um, yeah. cure this and then you can decide if you want to have it shiny or matte. Or both. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, and I will start to hand out your certificate because, of course, you get certificate. <laughs> That is a wrap. It's been a super fun day. <laughs> it's been a super fun day. And I think the day has pretty much flown by. Right now, well, we are more or less done here. Uh, I got some help from Emily. Well, some. I got a lot of help from Emily to uh, pack everything up. So the studio is actually ready to, well, ready for the night. Everything is packed up. I'm uh, basically just sitting here at my desk and um, gathering up some energy to leave. I got this evening to look forward to because I have been working non-stop. Almost like, well yesterday I worked until almost like midnight from 9 a.m. to midnight because I had to edit a light elegance video. Before that I have been working well Monday through Friday and I think almost every day I worked late nights and early mornings and now I work this Saturday as well and tomorrow is my first day off and feels like forever. I'm looking forward to stay up late but always when I do that 
it always end up with me um, falling asleep super early <laughs> instead. So we'll see what happens. But me and Christiana Martin just gonna relax, uh, chill in front of the TV. And that's it. I'm super happy to have such an awesome assistant. It helps me a lot. She does so much here and it helps me to focus more on my students because I don't have to run out and get coffee for everyone stuff like that and she takes care of pretty much everything it helps me to help the students more and that's freaking amazing super happy about that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye. Bye. just watch me break